People of YouTube, hello and welcome to Masters of the World Geopolitical Simulator 3, uh, which is probably one of the um, most peculiar games I've ever had to uh, review. Not had to, I actually wanted to review this. I got the code for this about maybe a week ago, maybe even 10 days ago, but uh, I've been uh, kind of uh, cautious about even starting him to make a video about this, and I'll try to explain why. It's not that it's a, it's a terrible game or something like that. It's actually quite interesting but i've had not exactly trouble but difficulty or rather one main difficulty with the game and that was with understanding the tone of it um because the way they present the the people who made this game and also published it, it's basically an indie game the, the guys are called eversim um i think they're a french developer and apparently they've been making different versions of this game since 2004 so which is like 10 years now um, and uh, it's a really cool idea about what, I mean, you know, having a game that simulates sort of geopolitical stuff, the current uh, events in the world. Uh, but the, the difficulty I'm having, as I said, is the tone of the game. So and I'm not completely sure whether it's not, it, it's supposed to be sort of funny, <laughs> but it is. And, but in some games, like, you know, oh, no, this was not meant to be funny, but it's actually hilarious, ha ha ha. In this case, it's like, I'm not even completely sure. So I'll, I'll, I'll hope... I hope that I can demonstrate this um, throughout the gameplay. So let's go to World Simulation here. This is actually supposed to be running in the highest possible um, graphical setting. So um, it's not actually my side that, that if something does, doesn't look exactly like it's 2014. Um, so let's start a new game here. There's also a quiz you can take. So what it does, you can either play a sort of a World Simulation, just like a, a sandbox type situation, or you can do different scenarios. Um, and we're just gonna, some of them are, I think, are still locked because I've never reached level 2, which... I'm not even sure how you reach level 2, to be honest. I've just, I just don't know. I haven't even done the tutorial to the end because I failed it. While I was doing the tutorial, I, I made a couple of decisions and, like, they assassinated my leader or something like that. Which is basically the end of every playthrough I've had so far. They, they, they kill the leader I'm controlling. So we're just gonna go with the world in 2013. Uh, instead of a like an actual scenario. Oh, this actually remembers my settings. So I set the difficulty level to newbie, um, disaster level to minimum because that's not something I want to deal with. Uh, war warmongering. Actually, let's have it on maximum. Maximum terrorism. That's because that's fun. Then turmoil to lowest so that we don't get um, ousted by our own people uh, and kind of remain in power slightly longer. There's different settings for the days, like how long a day is, so how basically how fast do you how often do you need to press the pause key kind of thing. And I, I said it in British pounds because at this point this is the most uh, the currency that I'm most familiar with. So we're gonna pick a country. I was thinking of what I was thinking of doing is um, the, it's basically all the countries of the world, uh, at least the ones that were present in 2013, which is pretty cool. So like I said, you know, there's just problems that this game has that I'm gonna talk about. But overall, like this is this is very interesting. I wish there were more games. Uh, attempting to do what these guys are attempting to do here. So while Nepal and Mongolia sound great, I am uh, probably going to go with uh, good old Russia here. Where is it? Let's find it. Uh, it's too many countries. Oh, there we go. So Russia. Choose it. And we're going to be... Uh, Vasily Slutin has nothing to do with Vladimir Putin, obviously. Uh, in case you were wondering. There's actually a message that pops up in the game. It says, has nothing to do with any real persons now living or dead, etc. So that's, that's us. I think that's a party symbol, which is like nuclear cloud. It's quite strange. Um, so this is set, so we're just gonna go in there. Ah, uh, yeah, that, there you go. It's, it's first of all a game, the scenarios and events taking place in it are political fiction. All names, photos, and symbols displayed in the game are also fictitious. Any resemblance, uh, they're also missing some punctuation there. Any resemblance with situations, facts, or people living or dead is purely coincidental. I actually am not going to click this. I want it to be displayed every time. So, the effectiveness and ambition of politics go hand in hand with the strength of and the hope in the economy, said uh, Charles de Gaulle in some year of his life. <laughs> it doesn't say when, it just says his years. Right, cool. Hopefully, this is not completely glitching out. Okay, I think this is working. And we start with the TV screen. Um... There After she goes. Giving televised holiday wishes that will not soon be forgotten. I'm going to let you the head enjoy of this. He spent Christmas Eve in private with his family. But early this morning, he left in a helicopter to pay a surprise visit to a hospital before meeting duty soldiers in a barracks. The day ended on a major road in the capital where he accompanied a team of garbage collectors assigned <laughs> to pick up trash in front of department uh. stores. 
our head so of good. state is starting out an exemplary year. See? Under the gaze of cameras from all of the country's television stations, of course. All right, cool. Thank you, lady. So this is what I was talking about. Like, it's, it's kind of unclear. I'm just going to pause the game quickly. It's kind of unclear whether or not this is supposed to be all a joke or not. It's kind of both, I guess. So it is it is slightly confusing. Um, you know, that part of the game is slightly confusing. I don't really understand exactly how that works. And also this guy is uh, one of the reasons I'm thinking, like, is this supposed to be a comedy or not? This is the Hello, kind of your tutorial, dude. Archibald Rainwater. <laughs> His name is Archibald Rainwater. So, actually, I'm just going let to him, let him go now. Um, he, he runs the tutorial and he can also help you run the country when you actually start playing the game. The, the thing is, like, he looks like a clown and he kind of talks like a clown. Um, so... It's again like is is this supposed to be funny? Which I, mean, I don't I don't have an issue with that except that like I'm 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 just a little bit confused. Okay, so the way you do this stuff, um, these icons that are not kind of in HD, but even though the game is running in 1080, um, you the yeah yes. Yeah, so people talk to you. It's going to pile up here. News items appear here. Uh, there's also some major stuff going to be flashing over here, and this is your menu. And there's tons of things to do. In your menu, um, this is also, I think, the way, like a different way to look at the world, or something like that. I think, yeah, what to display on the world: the capitals, the production centers, army centers. What is this even? Population, etc. Okay, um, but what we're interested in is, and what also I'm going to do with this um, sort of review slash playthrough is, I'm going to try and ruin the country as as fast as I can because that was the um, the way I had most fun with it. So what we're going to do is, first of all, go to, let's see, let's go to Secret Service. Uh, so, so something I like to do immediately. Uh, go to, I think, terrorist threats are kind of low at this point. This is our head of Homeland Security, even though there's only there's a position like that in, in, um, in Russia. Um, so SVR is order spy satellites. You know what? While we're at it, why not? Let's just uh, order spy satellites over. Um, ooh, there's only a limited choice of countries. Let's uh, spy on Japan because they're probably building a Godzilla. Um, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever you say. Let's just do like how much it's gonna cost. Uh, yeah, response will take several days. Oh no, we're ordering from them. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, um, that's not what I was going for. I was gonna go yes. So let's investigate someone. Let's go investigate a mm, an athlete because they're pretty suspicious lot. So let's investigate this uh, footballer, Dimitri Famine. Yeah, and I'm going to confirm the investigation on him. So he's being investigated. And while we're here, uh, burgled the HQ of a political party. Oh, that's good. I want to do that. So let's uh, burgle uh, the HQ of Workers' Party of Socialism. Or United Workers Party. Let's go with United Workers Party. Let's just burglarize them. So this is you see a timer here. It's gonna take some time for that to happen. And also while we're here, we might as well oh make public the scandal relating to celebrity. Oh, we don't have any scandals. Uh, it's not very good. I guess we have to investigate some celebrities. Where's the celebrities at? To do, to do lenders, associates, sects, unions, family, artists, artists. There we go. That's celebrities. Um, Boris. Bobevsky. We're gonna investigate him, uh, dig up some dirt, and then we're gonna make it public. Uh, also, mainly why I'm here is this. Let's assassinate um, our mother, because that's always fun. So Anushka Slutin, age 84, is is going down. So that's a hit on our mother. Um, I think we're done with FSP. SVR. Yeah, manage a network, and we have a network in Australia. Let's increase. Ooh, wait, what? Is that how it works? All right, so so increase of agents in Australia because they're probably pretty suspicious people there. And now what we can do is we can do stuff with religious key figures. Who are they? Ah, oh, this is the guys people were looking at. That's fine. Let's take a look at religions. Uh, yeah, you establish a state power with regard to religion, determine the level of religious freedom as legislation. Oh, we can forbid a religion. That's pretty cool. So, uh, we can subsidize one as uh, as a mainly orthodox country. I think we should subsidize uh, Islam, obviously. Uh, give them uh, 100 million pounds per year. There we go. Uh, and we're going to forbid 
Uh, we're gonna for forbid pro Protestantism. So that's forbidden now. So that's done. Uh, authorize the religion, subsidize the religion, publicly resize the religion, publicly congratulate. We're gonna congratulate the Catholics. So that's done. Now, other things we can do here is uh, political parties. Now, there's some like social laws that I wanted to pass. Diplomacy, AIDS, UN, other organizations, new organizations. Oh, we can form an organization. Is that it? Create a new organization. Living organization. Okay, cool. Let's create an organization. Organization type is going to be military political. Select a city. Ah, whatever. It's going to be there. Actually, we're not. This is this is taking too long. Let's not create an organization. Let's get out of here and actually go where we're going. Cabinet, parliament, elections, education, research, culture, the media. I was looking for where the law passing was happening because that was the fun part. Population, family. There we go. That's where I was going. Family laws. That's the the best best thing you can you can do as a head of state. Uh, establish a birth control policy. Regulate contraception. Determine legislation on abortion. Okay, let's determine legislation on abortion. Is going to be legal. That's already determined. That's fine. It's happening. Uh, legislation on homosexual rights. Uh, we are going to allow gay marriage. Uh, going to have a televised uh, address. In, in that regard, uh, we're not going to have a referendum. That's not up to the people. And we're going to have a reform, new reform. We're going to call it um, Lucky lucky Gay in reference to uh, what was happening in XCOM. So there we go. Um, yes, create the reform and they have to uh, vote on it and in the parliament. Uh, we're going to also legalize same-sex parent adoption. Uh, we're going to confirm this action with... Um, can we just lump it in the same? I still have a new one. Uh, it's going to call it Gay Mom and or wait or Dad. There we go. That's the name of the reform. Very good. That's also going to be voted on. Uh, abortion is determined. They got conception. Is there? Yeah, we're, it's fine. We're promoting it. Uh, establish a birth control policy. No limits. Establish a family allowance. Uh, they're fine. They're gonna be fine. So that's that's done. Now, in order for the, all of this to happen, we actually need to let the time pass. Oh, people are demonstrating. What do they want? Oh, Protestants are unhappy. That's fine. That's okay. Now, what else? America. What do you want? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Protestant community from America. This is just Protestant lobby. Your your religion is now forbidden. You cannot cannot do that here anymore. Oh, we have an address here. Let's see what happens. My fight against discrimination leads me to strengthen the <laughs> rights of homosexuals. The choice of sexual orientation is indeed an inalienable individual liberty. Damn right, Slutin. Damn right. The must guarantee a certain number of rights, and this is the purpose of my work today. Exactly. So we did that. Yeah, it's the same idea. So, it's very nice. This game allows you to make Putin legalize gay marriage, which is... Um, Pretty cool. So now we're gonna go to uh, how's the assassination of our mother happening there? It's not very. It's gonna take me some time there. Let's go to the uh, army. Now this is just also legislation. Abolish national. Let's abolish national service because that's bullshit. Who wants to do that? Um, and it's gonna call uh, whatever. It's gonna be called new reform. Uh, we're gonna vote, have a vote in that. Forbid exits from the territory, forbid entrance to the territory, install martial law, call up service service, order grand mobilization, uh, manage arms and bargos. Not interested in that. So Mr. Mr. Sluton says that national service is abolished. Oh wow, now look at that. Now uh, our uh, approval rating went down. So when your approval rating when it goes down, what you do is you go to war. So we're gonna order a military operation. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Attack a country, launch a procedure to authorize nuclear weapons. Uh, this is fun, but also leads to like very fast decline in, in whatever you're doing. So I'm not actually gonna do that. So we're just gonna attack a country, but we're gonna choose like a small one and no one's gonna really care about. It. So let's say we're gonna attack, which is the small one here, Myanmar, they're pretty, Nauru. We're gonna attack the island nation of Nauru. There we go, so that's done. Oh, and let's see, ten, went up 10% immediately, our rating, because people love war. Um, commanders are the future, whatever you say, guy. I think that's my um, my main general, dude. You're not aware of the status show it. Uh, gap between rich and poor, that's fine. 
This is guy from my party. Have just got together to protest against. Yeah, that's fine. Informants report that the temperature in the street is neither good nor bad. And uh, this lady wants to see us. Um, you know we don't have time for that. We're not gonna go on a meeting with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So war has been declared. Let's see what he says about this. Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international <laughs> no, community, I have made a conscious uh, decision to declare war. Okay, we got it. So you made a conscious decision. All right. So while that is happening, uh, let's actually speed it up slightly, so we get the results slightly faster. Uh, let's see what we can do about the environment. Legislation regulate vehicle traffic in urban zones. Uh, Kyoto Protocol. I think it's ratified, isn't it? It's ratified. Not ratified. That's fine, it's ratified. Determine the tax reduction for using clean energies. Uh, this is boring. Let's... What does China oh, want? Is oh, come on, China. Ratings. Who cares about that? Trade agreement between Russia and Japan. Satellites, yes. We're buying satellites from them. Um, oh, they refused to sell our satellites. As being too low. What reason? The purchase price that you have offered. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's fine, China. Uh, not China, sorry, Japan. We can We can buy it from someone else. So, let's do something about these work conditions here. So, legislation. Establish the allowance paid to job seekers. Very good idea. Um, so, amount given is going to be... Let's have it a bit more. 50% of last salary percentage. You're going to televise this stuff. Have a new reform. And go forward with that. Uh, okay, that's happening. What does USA want Although here? Ratings. Boring. Association for the senior citizens. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll deal with senior citizens in a bit. Establish the duration of the allowance for job seekers. That's a bit boring. Establish the duration of average working week. Yes, I want to decrease the average working week to 20 hours. Everyone's going to be working part-time now in Russia. Whoa, what happened here? Why this stop? I'm just trying to do my job. Uh, where, where did it go? Uh, establish the duration of average working week. Yes, that's what I was doing. For some reason, it just clicked me out of there. Okay, so uh, new reform, blah blah blah. Confirm, create the. Look at my 84% approval rating. 84% approval. This has never happened before, and I'm at war with Nauru. Establish minimum wage. I'm um, gonna go minimum wage all the way up to 110 pounds an hour. Hopefully, that's hopefully it stands for an hour. Uh, we're gonna establish a new reform. Very good. Create that. Um, minimum wage solidarity allowance. I wonder what that is. It is paid to individuals who do not gain enough pay through work to meet their needs. It is allocated to the different social criteria, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why not? Let's just give them like 55 pounds. And uh, no, come on. There we go. New reform number this. And we're going to create that. Very good. I'm very happy with this, how this all went down. Now let's see this uh, televised stuff. We don't need to see Although that. Ratings. That's fine. Uh, thank you. You have shown great determination in reducing inequality and social injustice. Very good. Thanks to you, the most fragile people have found hope and pride in themselves. Thank you. Ah, what's the happening here? Is in position and under surveillance 24/7. Very nice. Data so, collected by our agents will be regularly updated into the synthesis report that you will be able to review on file from now on. Very good. So this is the the footballer, the suspicious footballer guy that we were following around. Let's see how why our stuff went up so ratings this is mostly social humanitarian stuff we did i think everyone just really enjoys that you only have to work part-time what's this uh protestants yeah you're forbidden you're you cannot live in this country that's 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 done okay it's not gonna change let's speed up the time meanwhile the target is constantly on alert very good so he is being observed Farming. Is there any fun thing we can do in farming? Hmm, not really. Farming oh, seemed like a boring place. No new laws we can pass about finance. Is this just statistics? Oh, let's look at our debt. So, we owe tons of money apparently to World Bank and IMF. Wow, it's only natural that we are we're our dot triple B rating. That's good enough. I'm happy with that. 85% approval rating. Look at that. Group making claims, employer federal syndicate, number of demonstrators, blah blah blah, protesting the government's policy of welfare dependency. Oh, so what, you want... You're really 
Who's this? <laughs> and I tell you that I keep harping on to my great great grandchildren about it. It's true. You're a creme de la creme. You're the creme de la creme. <laughs> uh, I've seen them come and go. See? I made old people happy. This is why I think this game is pretty good, actually. That all the facial the animations are weird. And the motivation of our agents reached level four on a Mandrew's curve. This is a very bad score. Oh. We can't therefore deny the risk of a tactical redirection in order to take power. Uh, hum. So what? I don't understand. So are we are we in danger of losing power because we're really good? This guy looks like Medvedev a bit. All right. So is is this a prime minister? Prime minister? Okay. So despite all the consideration, blah blah, Rook Rising Ash, I have for you. My conscience does not allow me to continue to be part of your government. I truly regret it, Mr. President. Our approval rating is eighty-five percent. What are you talking about, guy? All right. Fine. Uh, well, I think we're having in charge of the burglary met with an empty hazard that Holman wouldn't have hesitated to call cosmic. This means that. Aside from a few dubious caricatures of you... <laughs> Alright, that's fine. So they didn't find anything besides stage. dubious caricatures. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this kind of removal is very delicate to undertake. And its results rarely go unnoticed. In almost 86.4% of the cases, to be precise, according to a modeling based on Baxter's algorithm. Also, if you want to repeat the operation... Oh wait, we actually managed to kill the mother. Very good. The whole thing has settled down. Let's see if this is actually true and our mother is completely removed. Uh, where would we find them? We find them key figures. Friends and family. Yes! We have managed to assassinate assassinate our own mother. It's very good. I wonder how the war is going, because I haven't heard much about uh, much from um, the Minister Although of Yuri Homeland Security. Oh, come on, that's boring. For two days. You told me everything was fine, now you're telling me everything is bad. That's that's a bit weird. So I, it actually didn't work out. I was trying to um, completely demolish this thing, but then in, in the end I en ended up being very popular. So I guess um, this means that politics are sort of unpredictable in that way. Some rent allowance for low salaries. Let's give people more money. Um, there we go. I just give you tons of tons of cash. Can we just type it in? Have it like 63 pounds. Um, regulate rent increases, in index link rent increases. Rent's frozen. Yeah. All right. So free rent for everyone. Uh, reduced tax, no aid. Reduced income tax. Uh, rate loans. And can we have both? We can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's, let's have that then. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Cancel construction projects in progress. That's fine. Let's see if that increases our popularity after we did all that additional help for the people. Oh, newspaper. Tuesday, the first legislation on homosexual rights. The head of state is a good teacher, they say. Says, put all his energy into getting the law passed. According to our sources, some lawmakers were impressed by the televised statement and are ready to vote in favor. Oh, we haven't actually accepted the bill yet. We just you have to still vote on it. Let's go to the next event quickly. See how that works out for us. Um, wow, that was a long time until next event. Housing, social, still 85% uh, approval rating. The current political orientation somewhat annoy from report 12 mm -hmm. by Centivic, the different services. According to my calculations, there is already... Ah, uh, he wants money. Okay, that's fine. The I understand. alarming situation of freight transport may have an... A transport problem, you say. Okay, let's take a look at transport here. So, what do we see? Uh, can we uh, increase... Oh, we have to increase the objectives. This, this is the kind of detail I was talking about earlier. Like, you can change the priorities. So, freight transport. Uh, so, would that be rail? Let's make him full priority from now on. Yes, budget increase. We will revise the 2013 budget within one week. Very good. I see. I think that can drop my... Funeral will take place next week. Do you want to attend the ceremony? I will. Well, I wanted to attend the ceremony. He just didn't let me do it. You are giving our country a big breath of fresh air. It's really commendable. Oh, very nice. This is disappearing really fast. I need to slow down here. Inspect the tensions. Ah, whatever. Protestants. Uh, deficit requires attention. Uh, probably, but I'm very popular, so I, I think it's going to be fine. We no longer have prime minister. The sheep of the state can't stay there. Okay, very good. Uh, this is. I think I can find the right person, Mr. President. Do you agree to let me choose the Prime Minister? Who is this? Advisor? No, I'm going to choose the Prime Minister myself. 
So we're going to go to the cabinet. We're missing a prime minister. So what we need to do is uh, appoint a new minister here. And we're going to choose one uh, from uh, the family and friends, obviously. So uh, astrologer medium Yuri Dashivsky is going to be the new prime minister. Confirmed. Very nice. Hopefully he's going to accept. I think he has a choice to not accept. These are uh, the, what are the Protestant policy of welfare dependency. That's fine. That's fine. The law has been passed. Security. Law. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Law rejected. What is the law rejected here? The vote was held and the reform was adopted. I didn't even know what it was. Change the deal on ecological issues. I would even say that you're positioning yourself as a real rampart against the looting of the planet in the name of our children. I, I am. I'm, that's very interesting. I didn't realize the I was... The vote was held. Unfortunately, the reform didn't... I'm not even sure which reform that is, to be honest, because it doesn't... I should have put the name in it. Because the high school students begin to feel cramped. Okay, let's deal with schools in a bit. Our health report hasn't improved. Pockets of... In that's fine. So schools, you say. Schools are going to be culture. Research. Oh, research. I haven't done anything about research. Let's research something. Discoveries. Um, discoveries in the world. Discoveries. What is this? Oh, this is just the information, I guess. How do we... Discover a tree. There we go. Ooh, look at that. So, metro sciences, human and social sciences, energy, environment, medical, genetics, our food industry, ICT military science so we want to develop a this is what we're researching now bravo zero gamma tank i guess not sure how this works uh plus minus oh let's just zoom mm, fine let's not do that but we're going to do school thing here so sports Country, parliament, media, sports, culture, hmm. education. There we go. So legislation establishes the freedom of teachers. That's established. Uh, um, no control. Teachers can say whatever they want. Um, set maximum school age. I don't want to do that. Set duration of school vacations to the maximum amount. So the kids are going to be on vacation. Can we not just, just do this like faster? Can we? How? Okay, so 208 days out of the year, kids are going to be on vacation. And if they don't vote for me, then I don't know what else to do. And uh, we're going to... Also, we can probably... Just, can we just get out of here? Like so, maybe. really want to find out what's going on with our war effort, but I can't really see anything happening. I don't even know exactly where Nauru is, really. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're at war. Tuesday is a turbury at the United Workers Party's headquarters. Breaking took place, blah, blah. Ah, that's fine. That's what we were doing. Anyway, so I, I was really hoping that I could, at this by this point, uh, have the country completely demolished. But then, unfortunately, that didn't really work out. Unfortunately. And they're not passing my laws anymore. I don't think I'm slightly losing uh, my popularity there. Anyhow, this is kind of the idea. Let me just pause it here. I don't want to make this video hugely long, but this is the idea of, of the game. This is how it kind of works um it didn't exactly go uh the way i planned as i said but that also in, is indicative of probably how complex and, and and deep in a way this is i'm not sure i haven't tested it myself so i cannot guarantee that all the decisions you make are in like you know you'll, you'll get the repercussions of them for years and years and years to come because i probably obviously haven't played the game that long to have to have had that verified that myself um but what you can see yourself is that there's so many different decisions to make uh, I kind of you know, kind of you know I feel bad that there it just doesn't look better because it is you know it, it is a little bit ugly the, the game I mean there's no hiding from that and if it was a bit better if it was like looking kind of maybe you know in a, not necessarily in a style but to a uh, the same production levels that say like the paradox interactive games look right okay when they where they actually make the map look very very beautiful and you know this map is okay. The icons on them are on it are though a bit um, a bit atrocious. Uh, I mean, there's different maps here, obviously, but um, 
yeah, the main one where you have the city and the specialist. It looks a bit meh. So there's there's problems in that regard, but I am I cannot say that I just I dislike the game. I think it's pretty cool. I'll probably be returning to this. We may even do I may even do a thing with with Shizopath doing a sort of a playthrough where we once more try to ruin a country. We did one uh, about like 20 minutes playthrough where we completely ruined I think it was Angola. Um, but, but and I was kind of trying to imitate that again, but I think it was uh, too much uh, of a nice leader this case and it didn't exactly work out. Uh, so you probably see this again again on the channel. I cannot fully sort of recommend this game in 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 view of its price, which is £39.99 like on Steam, um, which, is, which is a bit restrictive. I'm not exactly sure why the developer decided to sell it for, for that much. I understand, like, you know, it's supposed to be a, a sort of serious simulation. Again, though I have my concerns about, you know, how serious that actually is. Um, but... You should definitely um, keep an eye out, I think, uh, for when it drops in price. And in, in that case, I think it's, it's totally worth Like, let's see, there's a, even a 30% or whatever, 33%, 40% sale. I think it would be then kind of worth uh, worth the price because of how much you can, um, how many different uh, events you can simulate, etc. And this is just a general uh, vanilla simulation. There's the scenarios which you can play through and, 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 and so on. So... That is Masters of the World, the Geopolitical Simulation Simulator 3. Um, as I said, uh, we'll probably be a bit more of this. Hope you guys enjoyed me ruling uh, Russia as Mr. Sluton and uh, having this unexpected result of being actually super popular. Uh, if you did so, please consider supporting this video in any way you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.